He's just special. This is what I'm talking this about. This brother is special. She's special. I've never seen anything like What we saw tonight was special. I've got one word for what I just saw. Special. Special Olympics North Dakota believes that everyone should be included on the playing field of life regardless of their abilities. Here to tell us more about the who, what, and why is President and CEO of Special Olympics North Dakota, Nancy Hansen. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you for being here. Well, I loved that video that we just took a peek at. Tell us more about Special Olympics. You know, if you think about your experiences in school or whether it's a sport team or speech or debate or just going to movies with friends. So Special Olympics really offers athletes with intellectual disabilities an opportunity to participate with a team or a group of people that maybe they wouldn't have otherwise. So we love to be able to offer those things and really change the lives of the people that we serve. How does that really feel for you to be able to provide these opportunities? You know, I think that the biggest difference is you, you see the joy. Mm -hmm. It's the little things that you do that you think, oh, that was easy. And, and they're so appreciative. Mm -hmm. So it makes you want to do more and give more and to be able to help more. And so that's kind of why we're here, to ask for people to help us to provide different things that whether it's, you know, a help to purchase a new pair of shoes or just an opportunity to be able to ride a bus or stay overnight at a hotel and participate in a state tournament. That, that's what we need and, and that's what these athletes truly deserve. Exciting. So how does this really work then with Special Olympics? It's a once a year kind of event, correct? Actually, no. Okay. Uh, we have sports that go throughout the whole year. Mm -hmm. So we have different sports and different seasons, just like you have at the high wow. school and college level. Yeah. Um, but our athletes don't specialize. Mm -hmm. They participate in pretty much every sports season that they can. So they start at the end of July and they participate all the way through May. And it's a different season, different sport, and then we have five different state tournaments that we offer across the state. Exciting. Mm -hmm. So what has really been the community response to this? So, you know, after COVID, we lost a lot of our volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I tell people is, if you haven't been, come. Mm -hmm. Because give me an hour, give me two hours, and I bet I will make sure that you come back. Because you just have that experience and see the impact that you have mm -hmm. just by giving a little bit of your time. So it's a great thing for the communities to be able to come out and enjoy and to feel the, the love and support. And you get a lot of high fives and a lot of hugs. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's just a, a lot of smiles, a lot of smiles. Yes. So if someone is watching at home, you know, maybe on the fence about volunteering, mm -hmm. why would you really recommend someone do that? You know, it's a way that you can give back. Mm -hmm. So all, all that we ask for people is truly, if you could give one to two hours a week for eight to 10 weeks, mm -hmm. that's it. Think about how long you spend when you watch a show at home or you mm -hmm. go for lunch, right? You spend an hour. Well, if we take one or two of those um, during the week for a couple months, you could be um, part of a team and, and help others. Or if that's not something you're able to do, if you're able to come and help us at a local tournament or a state competition for two, four hours, that's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. So it takes hundreds of volunteers for us to be able to put on a state tournament. So it's a whatever people are willing to give. Um, like I said, just come one time and I'm sure we'll get you back. Yes, I bet. So approximately how many athletes do you serve in the state? So right now we have about a thousand athletes, mm -hmm. um, but we have an opportunity to grow exponentially. So right now, um, Special Olympics North Dakota is only serving about 10% of the eligible population. Mm -hmm. So think of all the athletes out there um, of people that we could impact. And so that's why we need community support to be able to help us as we grow mm -hmm. and help recruit those people into our program. Well, speaking of community support, Giving Hearts Day is right mm -hmm. around the corner. How can folks help out? So we, we probably are a little bit different than a lot of other club teams or high schools, so we do not charge any participation fees. Wow. Our athletes have no cost whatsoever mm -hmm. for the whole year. So Giving Hearts Day is a way for us to really generate those funds that we desperately need mm -hmm. uh, to be able to 
rent facilities, buy equipment, purchase uniforms, uh, be able to buy food and hotel rooms and buses for people to be able to come across the state. So Giving Hearts Day is a, a big day for us. You know, it's one of those that our athletes impact the people's hearts so much, and we hope that this is just a, a great correlation and a great day for people to think about a, a Special Olympics North Dakota. Absolutely. Well, we will certainly keep you guys in mind on this Giving Hearts Day. Great. Yes. So how can folks at home find out more information about Special Olympics North Dakota? So you can certainly go to our website, specialolympicsnd.org. Uh, make sure you put the ND behind or yes. you'll get the national. <laughs> so specialolympicsnd.org, or you can certainly call our office, 701-746-0331. Um, Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Nancy, for sharing this with us. Thank you. Yes, of course. All right, everyone, stick around because coming up on today's show, the West Fargo High School Theater is putting on their winter play. We have all the details after the break.